Hey everyone, uh, can this rock, do you think, be turned into a gemstone? Or maybe many gemstones? Let's cut it and find out. Hi everyone, this is Clayton from the Sand and Shore Shop. And I take things like this and turn it into stuff like this. Come and watch me make shiny stuff. Hey everyone, this is Clayton from the Sand and Shore Shop. And, as usual, I was walking out to my truck the other day and looking down in the landscaping rocks for something that might be able to be cut, and I found this. And it had rained a little bit earlier, and it was actually n not as shiny as everything else. And it drew my attention basically because it was not as shiny as everything else. So I thought, maybe I should pick something up that doesn't have the potential to be as shiny. But if I look at it, there is some sparkliness in there. So this could be maybe sandstone. That side's terrible. This side's better. So I don't know if it's sandstone or what it might be. But let's give her a cut and see what, what we might get out of it. Now I'm thinking, you know, it's got a really flat side here. So for the saw, that's a good idea because put it down on the flat side and cut it. So I'm not going to cut it right down the middle, because if it is a good stone, I don't want to waste the hugest, hugest? Did I just say hugest? I don't want to waste the biggest piece, so I'll find the middle, which is probably right about in there. Let me get a pen. Shall we go with black or blue? Let's go blue. Okay, so let's see. This looks like the middle. So let's cut on each side of that. You know what? I am going to cut down the middle. Just because I can. So I'm going to take this over in the saw, and I'm going to cut down the middle. Okay, I cut down the middle, and I'm... Not exactly sure what I got here. A little bit of schmutzy water on that. Schmutzy schmutz. Schmutzen? I've got a whole lot of yellow something. And there it is. There it is. I got a whole lot of yellow. I'm thinking this might be sandstone. If it's sandstone, we ain't going to get diddly out of this. But you know what? We are going to cut. I'm going to cut a slab out of this center piece right here. So right down there. And then we're going to see what we got. Okay, that was pretty fast. Set this piece of whatever over here. Set this piece of whatever over there. This is a rock, not a whatever. Okay, here's what we got. We've got... Oh, let me get it in the camera. Sorry about that. We've got... I don't know what it is. I think it's sandstone, but it sort of doesn't look like sandstone. It does have a lot of sparkliness in it. Why can't I stay on the camera? There. I'm going to take this. Actually, I think I'm going to take and cut this right down the middle. Get two stones out of there and shape one stone. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Alrighty. I shall be right back. See, I told you I'd be right back. Well, I'm going to shape it in a circle and see what we got from there. Okay. Um, I cut this down into a semi-circular circle thingy. And you can see it's still wet. The stone's very soft. And as I was cutting on it, I was thinking it might be sandstone. But then, I don't know. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> let me see. Let me get the paper towel of justice here. Because I'm sort of wet. I mean, my panthers are even wet. You see that? Ah! Ah! No! Stone overboard! They're going over the wall, people! Okay, I'm back. Crisis averted. All right, uh, you can see there's spark. Oh, there's sparkliness in there as it dries off, and as it dries off, we can still see the sparkliness. So that's telling me that it might actually polish. I don't know. 
This is going to be the bottom because it's nice and smooth. I can put it on a top stick. This is going to be the top. Um, I don't know what this is. Did I happen to say that I don't know what this is? So we're going to just have to find out because I want to be honest, absolutely 100% honest. I have never polished up or tried to polish up sandstone before. And if this is what it is, then we'll find out if it will polish. All right, so I'm going to adopt this probably with some wax and then I'm going to go over into the wheel and cut it. Hey, um, if let me know if you would like to see me actually cutting it on the wheel more or not. I mean, I can change the video or I can change the phone. I do all these shoots on my phone. I can change the phone and do some of the, you know, the little incidental cutting so everybody could see it. But I'm sort of thinking that a lot of this, a lot of these videos are more centered towards what this is going to come out to be instead of how it's done. I will make more how it's done videos later on. So for now, I'm going to adopt this and then I'm going to go over the wheel and cut it. I'm going to bring it back and see what it looks like. And here we go. I got it on stick. Got it docked fairly well. Of course, I had wax flying all over the place, but you know, you'll have that in a small town with no sheriff and, and bad plumbing. Okay, so over onto the wheel we go. I just realized that I did not have the camera settings set properly. So you're going to have a washed out version of all of that. So I'm going to go back here real quick and... This is what the stone looked like. Maybe there's the shinies. You know, it really aggravates me when I do this and I don't have the settings right on the camera and it's, I'll just, I'll try to adjust them and you'll see where a little bit ago I just set it back and you'll see that it's a lot better to see. So bear with me. I'm still new at this and hey, trust me, I mess up all the time. That's part of my charm. So. Onto the wheel we go. Alrighty, I am I am back, and I'm still not totally sold on whether this stone is going to be a shiny or not. Um, it was it, there's a lot of sparklies in there, and it was actually more difficult to shape than I expected it to be. So there is some hope, but there is also a whole lot of I don't know. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out the 500 grit sandpaper and I'm going to shape this down. Hold on a second. I got another set of these so I can see. I'm going to look at these under the night. Wow. Okay, after I looked at that, I'm thinking this is sandstone. Because there's not a, there's not a cut mark. Where did I go? I got to be back here. There's not even a cut mark on this. I'm going to pull up the 1,000 grit sandpaper, and I'm going to run this over it real quick. And I'm going to see if I can actually pull up some sort of polish there. Because if it's not going to polish, I don't want to throw it onto my cerium oxide pad in any way. Because it could just release a whole bunch of sand particles in there and really mess it up. You know, make it totally unusable. So just give me a second, and I shall be right back. All right, I have this old piece of thousand grit I'm going to use. Because if we do find out that there's anything good here, I can always go back with a better piece of sandpaper and try it out. Alrighty, well, I can actually see on here that it's... I'm not sure what to say. It almost looks like it's starting to polish. But then it looks like it's not starting to polish. <sighs> I'm going to pull up the 500 grit paper. I have a piece. Don't even... I'm not even turning off the camera. Here's a piece of 500 grit. It's been used a little bit. I'm going to work that over and see if I can round that there's some facets on there. I'm going to see if I can take those facets out. I'm going to do that pretty aggressively. Okay, this is starting to uh, really interest me here because it's starting to get somewhat of a polish. Now, you might be saying to yourself, hey, he went from 1,000 grit to 500 grit and didn't clean off his stone. Okay, well, that's not really going to matter. I went from 1,000 grit to 500 grit 
I went from a low, finer grit to a more coarse grit, and that's not going to hurt if the, uh, if it, whoa, I hit the camera. Earthquake. <coughs> that won't hurt going from 1,000 grit to 500 grit because it's a finer grit to a coarser grit. It's not going to affect the coarser grit whatsoever. But if I went from a 500 grit to a 1,000 grit and didn't change or didn't clean, then it would make a whole lot of mess. But it, if you can see, there's actually a little bit of a shine starting to get onto that sandstone. And I'm sort of astounded. I'm going to have to go over this really well with this paper. It's going to take a little bit because this paper is old. So give me a moment and I will be done. All right, let's see what we have now. Well, you can see there is a slight bit of a polish starting to come up on that. And I'm truly astounded. So I'm going to clean the stone, and now I'm going to go to the thousand grit again. Let's get started on the polishing of this here, whatever it is, stone. Okay, let's see what we got. That's actually polishing. Look at, look at that. That's polishing up. That's somewhat shiny. So the next step, wow, I'm, I'm really freaking out here. It's not super shiny, but it's shiny. There is a tremendous amount of undercuts in this, though. And as much as I'd like to, I'm not going to take this onto my cerium oxide, cerium oxide leather pad or the big wheel, especially the big wheel, because I don't want to contaminate it with any sort of sand. If sand will, if this is sandstone, sand will probably come off of it, and I do not want to contaminate that. So what I'm going to do is I have another wheel over here set up for, I won't say junky pieces, but for pieces that are not as uh, delicate. So I'm going to polish it up on that and let us see what happens. So I shall be back shortly after I hit it with that wheel. Alrighty, uh, I found something out today that I never knew, never thought of before. That if you're using a docked stone that's stopped with wax and you're using a dry polishing wheel, the heat generated is enough to melt the wax, and your stone will fly off of there at a speed equivalent to what the space shuttle needs to achieve orbit, and run past your face and scare the bejesus out of you. So that's just, that's just for future reference. But I run that stone over the, uh, <laughs> the dry polishing wheel, which is, what I have on there is white diamond fine polish for uh, different types of metals. And this is what we came up with, right here. Um, there's a lot of undercuts because it is almost definitely sandstone. And at best, it's got a satin finish to it. But it isn't actually bad. But as... Calling it a shiny, I don't think it's going to meet the criteria for being a shiny. Trying to show the, the shine all over the stone. And even though it did polish and did come out fairly well, it's not meeting. It's satiny, so that's not a shiny. So, unfortunately, this stone, this piece of sandstone is a fail. It's a fail, but not a complete fail because it's not, it's not a shiny, but it's pretty darn close. So hey, if you liked the video, hit the button down there, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will be bringing you more videos. And I, And the videos I put out you know, I'm not going to take the bad ones and throw them out. No, I'm not going to take the bad ones and throw them out. If the stone doesn't polish up into a shiny, it doesn't polish up into a shiny, and that's what you're going to see. I actually do kind of like this stone, though. I mean, it's not, it's not a shiny, but it's pretty. But anyhow, hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for spending some time with me. Have a good night.